Dan Willis here, and we're talking about the best prepaid debit card and seven key features and things to look for as you go through these markets. And the first thing we want to mention, though, having been working with this stuff since its birth, things have changed a lot. Today, it's a much more consumer industry, consumer friendly industry with much lower fees. There's more competition, which results in much lower fees for you. The second big point is a prepaid debit card, credit card, reloadable. <laughs> It's not going to build credit, period. I'm sorry, it's just not. If you're interested in building credit and you have a less than perfect credit uh, history, investigate a secured credit card. But with a prepaid debit card, you are you have to first deposit money. You're not being loaned any money, and thus there's no information to report about you, so it won't build credit. I'm sorry. So here's the seven key features, though. And the first one is what type of card you're getting visa mastercard american express you name it Mo these are accepted especially visa mastercard at over 90 percent of all retail outlets but there is still a small even slight need for cash which we'll be talking about here momentarily the second type is the monthly fees how much are you responsible as a fee per month we've seen this range from three dollars all the way up to twenty dollars per month please investigate this you should not pay any more than five bucks as a monthly fee at the absolute most and yes you will have some fees because unlike a traditional credit card where most of the money that the credit card company earns is coming through interest rates you instead since you're not being loan money and aren't paying interest you'll have to pay a few fees here and there but these like we mentioned are much smaller much 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 smaller as of the end of 2014 and moving forward the third point is an activation or a purchase fee this is actually buying your card and one of the ways that companies will do this and just work around that is to use it as an activation fee before you can use your card you have to pay five dollars or whatever please don't pay more than five dollars for any sort of a purchase or activation fee the fourth point is atm fees as we mentioned here in the first one you will still need some cash from time to time i mean this is life so please do investigate atm fees some of the better cards now offer free atm access with a specific atm network which would include like thirty thousand atms within the united states you just have to go to those specific atms and it's probably Probably safe to say there's a handful of them around you much like with your local bank how you can use the ATM there for free but if you use another ATM you can use it it just costs you a little bit more so please investigate that because you don't want to be paying six dollars every time you try and get a little bit of cash uh, so please look into that the fifth is how you can deposit money uh, direct deposit loading cash you name it there's a variety of ways to deposit money sometimes you need to look at this because sometimes there will be some fees generally speaking the better cards will at least offer you free direct deposit uh, and that can of course eliminate check cashing fees if you're paying for those and the sixth point here is hidden fees no joke i wish we were lying but these guys over the years have stuck in like two dollar uh hidden fees to talk to a live customer service representative and when we're talking about your money that would be really frustrating to talk to a human being i have to pay two dollars and something happened with my money like <laughs> please look into that that also includes some atm fees just there's really you need to investigate that because over the years this is where a lot of the fee structures have been hidden and snuck and snuck in uh, the seventh and last point is having online bill pay you see a prepaid debit card is much like your bank checking card the online bill pay is a way to have checks sent with your name and without using and having the expense of a money order it's just like a checking account you know you should be able to do this online and you should have at least a few of them given to you for free every month because it should work just like a checking account <laughs> so that's the seven here if you're suffering from less than perfect credit it's important to do something whether it be 
you know, a credit card or responsible use of your credit lines. But we want to build credit, and then it's a two-pronged approach. We also have to remove the bad credit items because that's what's damaging and bringing down credit scores. So this is Dan Willis. Please subscribe and join our congregation. Please also visit the link in the description below to check an article out at our website for some more tips. And we've got a free report available there as well. The seven super simple steps to clean credit. Please have a fantastic day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.